I'm so glad. I'm so glad to have you in my wardrobe. I'm so glad. I am a changed woman. Hello there beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I'm doing a classic. Autumn is about to be, no, autumn is actually here at this point in time. And it was time for me to add a few new pieces to my closet. Nowadays, I really do not shop as much. I know I was known for like, you know, trying on clothing, whatever. This was more for you than for me. I just tell myself that all the time. But really, I don't buy a lot. I'm really trying to be considerate about the items that I purchase. But sometimes I do need to hit the high street. Sometimes I just need to get some stuff that will suit me. And I try to focus on getting items that I know I'm gonna wear for a really long time. And you can find those items sometimes from your Zara's and your H&M's. I did a little bit of an online shop from H&M, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I very rarely, 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 rarely do. When I think about H&M, I usually go on the high street and then I haven't really been going on the high street, so then I haven't gone. But I wanted to get a few pieces in and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. So one of the first things I purchased was this faux leather shirt. I saw this, well firstly, I'm addicted to leather. I always have been for a really long time. Leather, faux leather, um, I, I tried to go more for faux leather. And these are about to be really in trend. And when I saw it, I was like, I need this. And I also saw, saw one on Zara, but the one on Zara was like 50 quid. And I don't know how much, ooh, they don't put the price on it, so you can't remember how much you spent. I can't remember, I think this was, might have been about 29 pounds. I love a faux leather shirt, can wear it with a skirt, can wear it with jeans, can wear it hanging, can wear it tied up, and can wear it unbuttoned, buttoned all the way up to the top. You can wear it underneath something. I just feel like this is such a classic piece to have in the closet. And I always keep my leather items or my faux leather items for a really long time. I've got like three sets of faux leather leggings. I've got like leather jackets and all that kind of stuff. And I just, I just love how hard I look when I wear them. This one's really nice, really comfortable on. And sometimes when there's faux leather items, they kind of look a bit plasticky. This does not look plasticky, which is why I really, really like it. So you're gonna see there's a lot of knit in my collection right about now. Oh, and this top. I will tell you more about this top in a second, actually. In a second, darlings. But yeah, I've got lots of knit. And I saw this pull down one. I saw it on, like the model was wearing it. And I was like, this is so me. Because one, you can wear it up super, super high. And it looks really cute. And it's kind of oversized, but you can also wear it tucked into jeans or something. I just thought that this, this little number is lovely and it's so soft. I can't lie, it's a little bit itchy. I'm very sensitive to itchy clothing. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, I can feel it. Even this top, I can feel it. I can feel the stitching, but you know, I'll wear a top underneath and I'll be able to get away with it. It just looks so cozy and is exactly the kind of thing I know I would wear a lot over autumn winter. And then I bought this oversized knit jumper. I haven't had a Cardi in a really long time. When I think about Ocardi, it does make you think, like it's a little grandma, like it's like, uh, do we really wear Cardis in 2019? Yes, we do if you're European. And why I love the idea of a Cardi is because of all the little dresses I can wear underneath. Like I can wear like a little black bodycon dress, a little white bodycon dress, just little dresses underneath. And then I can put a Cardi on top. Um, I love this. This has kind of got this like loose oversized um, fit to it which is just really, really flattering. And it, it's just nice. And I love this like gray mild color. I wear black, I wear white, I could wear denim and tops and so many things. There's so many ways, ways that I could style this. I was like, yes, this is just what I want. But I also got this one hella gorgeous. It's not actually a cardi, it's actually a wrap dress. So I didn't realize this was a wrap dress. I thought that I've just been buying cardi. It's actually a wrap dress but I feel like I've got two for one in this clothing item. It's a wrap dress, but it's also a cardi, in my opinion. I tied the two little flaps back, and after tying the two little flaps back, I'm like, yeah, it's a cardi, but then it also wraps into a dress. So this to me is a bargain. It's like super fitted. It is like a rib material, and I know that I would wear it like two ways. So yeah, hey, hashtag sustainable, <laughs> two for one. I love it. So for the life of me, I'm trying to avoid like wearing maternity bits and bobs. Cause I just, I don't know. I just don't really like them. They're a bit sack-like. 
But um, I do need to be comfortable. I do need to breathe, okay? The belly needs air. This top here, I actually bought this in black and white. And the material is so nice. It's like, it feels just so like floaty and so like free and so comfortable. And nowadays, like my goal when I wear clothing is to be comfortable, but also cute. And I feel like this is such a nice piece. I love V-neck shirts. Shirts that kind of open up at the top. I've got a very short neck. I don't know how you have a short neck, but I do have a short neck. I do find that when I wear like tops that are too close, it just makes me look like a floating pea head and I hate it. But yeah, this is really nice. And I got this in the black as well. Finally from H&M, I actually did pick up something from their mama range and you know their mama range looked really good Like actually I was complain I complained a lot about like returning to wear but the H&M mama range looks Amazing, it looks really good. They had these really cool like button-down bodycon dresses and like even looking at this though Anyone could wear this like you don't have to be a mama to wear this you don't have to be it's not maternity fit at all it's just a nice stretchy rib that will fit around the bump but fit around any curves really really comfortable and i really like the way the buttons were on the neckline and it's just so flattering it's just so flattering i love it and i love navy navy is is, is so gorgeous i think i'll be wearing this all the time and again like it's getting cold like i'm i'm done out here wearing all this chiffon and light fabrics no babes it's time for the knits to come out so this jacket here this isn't actually from the high street this is from a brand called jane and tash and i had to show this jacket to you it is a leather jacket it's a biker jacket i buy a biker jacket probably once every two years and there's not a single biker jacket that i don't have i've got biker jackets that i've owned for six seven years they're still in my closet i just love them they make such a huge difference and i don't have a cream one the fit of this jacket is mad i'm shouting because it's absolutely crazy it's like this oversized boxy jacket but it's so flattering it's so cool it's so comfortable i just love everything about this coat i feel like it's just changed my life like changed my life and i'm so i'm so glad i'm so glad to have you in my wardrobe <laughs> I'm so glad. There are pieces that you buy and you're like, yeah, you're an essential for me. You're an essential, you'll be here forever and you're worth the investment. It's just, it's just so gorgeous. You just have to see what this bad boy looks like on. It's life changing. So I'm sure some of you guys are looking at this top right about now. This is from ASOS. I did a really tiny, tiny ASOS shop. Just literally got like three or four pieces, should I say? Like, wow, I only got like four pieces. I am a changed woman. But I saw this shirt and I love the kind of um, chiffony shirt, but it's hard to find ones that actually fit really nicely. And this has got this like peplum shape. This isn't maternity but it fits really well for us who've got a bit of a bump or a bit of a belly. I love a peplum at the moment because obviously it's nice and flattering and covering. And I like the fact that it's see-through. I then also bought these little bralettes in like a pack of three. They're black, white, and pink. I don't need the pink, but black and white. So sometimes I wear the white under this shirt. Sometimes I wear the black, but so, so good. Couldn't get it in my size. I got a size eight bralette. My nipples are singing outside of this, but in reality, it's all good, it's fine, I look cute. And I also got this in the black as well, because yeah, black and white is um, an essential in my wardrobe. And I love wearing something as basic as a white shirt, but that isn't just the white shirt, you know? I like the fact that it's got this detail on it. I find it just mm, fabulous to wear. So sticking with the, the jumpers and the sweaters, do you know what? Not every sweater is the same. Not every sweater dress is the same. That is something I have learnt the hard way. But I found this one, I was like, yes, this is the perfect sweater dress. I bought two or three. And what you'll find actually, some of them can be really square and really boxy and just go straight down. Or some of them come in at the hem a little bit and give you a bit more shape. And this is one of those ones. This is actually from Bershka, but you know, Azor sells other stuff. I have to show you the material. It's just so nice. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's just really nice. It's really soft, non-itchy, non-itchy knit. 
which I, I really want. But I love the idea of wearing like a shirt inside of this and like a black jacket over the top of it, wearing it with some over the knee boots or something. Like there's so many ways to style this that is really, really flattering and comfortable. Hashtag this is maternity. <laughs> this was a little, um, what's, what do you call this, romper? I really didn't want to be the mama like wearing the dungarees and the t-shirt and the romper, but I get it. Like, I, like, I get it. Like I understand why girls um, who are carrying bubbers wear these because they're so comfortable and this one is so nice. But I feel like it's such a good style that you could style it up in so many different ways, like with a little shirt or something underneath, or the t-shirt underneath, that it doesn't have to look like you're like a painter and decorator, but you can actually look like you're a cool, stylish lady with a bump. What do you guys think? Do you think it's something I'm able to style really well? I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, this was 19 pounds. What the hell, this is size 14? Oh my gosh. So this is maternity and size 14. I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now because this fits. This is why I say the sizing on clothing doesn't matter. Buy whatever size works for you. And then I also got this kind of shirty thing as well. Trying to not only wear cream, black, white or grey. This really nice shirt, again, I think it's something I would just wear with leggings. It's something I know I'd wear all the time. It's a nice top to wear out to dinner that is flattering and comfortable as well. It's actually pretty little things because ASOS sells pretty little things and I don't actually go on pretty little things much. And then I hit up Zara and it's so funny. When I picked out my goodies from Zara after picking out goodies from H&M, picking out goodies from ASOS, I was shocked by the difference in quality. I don't know why, I can't remember this, but Zara has really good quality items. Is it just me who thinks that? I don't know, but they've got some decent quality in their collection that I was really, really excited about. Like no word of a lie. So um, I got this crochet jumper. It's like an off the shoulder knit jumper. Honestly, I couldn't believe how good a quality this was. Maybe because I just haven't been shopping for such a long time properly. This felt like a really nice investment piece. Now it does have these like beads at the end, which are my favorite. But like, honestly, I can do this off the shoulder. I can tie it up. I cannot tie it up. I can hide the beads. It's fine. And I love like holes inside my clothing. No, this does not trigger me with my um, phobia of small holes. This doesn't trigger me at all, but it might trigger some of you guys out there. But this, love, absolutely love. Cause I love wearing stuff that's off the shoulders and flattering and baggy right now, but in a way that doesn't seem moo moo esque you know, you know? This top, I saw this top and I knew, I knew for me, instantly it was a win. Instantly it was a top for me. It is a top that anybody can wear. It's got elastic at the back, which is my favorite type of um, top to have. And it just fits so well. It's a one shoulder. I love showing off shoulders. I love showing off clavicle. It's a large crop, so actually it goes over my bump, but if you're someone who doesn't mind crop, then you can wear it. Currently I'm buying medium and large for myself and everything kind of fits in the same way, but it's so flattering. If you're looking for a statement top that says something, this says so much in the best way. And it's ruffles, but it's not like too crazy. I love a little shoulder, I love a little ruffle. I've got a few big events that I'm going to. I'm off to New York. I was like, oh, this is like the perfect piece to wear on the way out. I am in love. And then I bought a knitted dress in purple. It's a bit bright, but I love the shoulders. I love, love, love the shoulders. And I thought the color was really nice. I mean, I can wear a lot of black. I can wear a lot of white and cream and really kind of plain colors so i think it's nice to have a piece that stands out just a little bit and i saw this purple piece i was like okay you know what i'll put it in they had a black option which is the same fit which is really really nice but i've got enough black knit dresses in my closet i'm like you know what i really don't need another one so i was like you know what this purple is really nice and i want to wear this it's really flattering it's really heavy and I love heavy stuff. I feel like my signature style is gonna be over the knee boots, 
with like a knit piece for like the whole of this winter until I pop this baby out of me. So guys, those are the goodies that I have picked up. I feel like I'm so much more restrained um, when I pick up purchases nowadays. Um, like I do definitely buy loads of items and then I'm like, no, I'm taking that back, I'm taking that back, I'm taking that back, I'm taking that back. Happens all the time. I'm still returning 50% of the stuff that I pick up, but I only want to show you the stuff that I'm like, is really, really worth it, that I really, really like and have really tried and will be staying inside my wardrobe. So guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I will have links in the description bar below for those of you who can afford to shop. If you're going out there going broke, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? If you got it in your closet, you don't need it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And in the meantime, I will catch you all later. Bye.